Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way you can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 seven customer support. Don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows series with RTG 50 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and bundle with RTG 62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to test Zemu Xbox emulator on Android with the latest WinLater Frost update. But before starting the video, if you are new to here, make sure you to subscribe our channel. All right guys, here in this update they added latest Turnip driver, also Wine3D driver with some other bugs fixes. Okay, let's dive into the main part. This is from Zemu, an original Xbox emulator, and it's a free open source, which you can emulate the original Xbox consoles right on your Windows PC. So download Windows version, as we are going to test this on WinLater emulator Android. And also you need to download some required files. Download Xbox hard disk image file. And also you need to get these files like BIOS file, boot image or whatsoever. Unfortunately, I can't provide you direct links. You need to search, get these files from Google. There are a lot of sources, so dive in. All right guys, it's time to load the new WinLater Frost Reloaded version two. This is basically the modified version of an official build with some advanced inbuilt features. Now go to settings. Here changes both box 86 and 64 presets to performance mode. Okay, now save. Now add new container. Simply, I will name the container as Zemu. All right, now set resolution you want. Select wine version to 9.2. Select turnip driver. Set DXVK1 10.3. Set audio driver to pulse audio. Enable FPS meter in wine configuration as usual. Set theme, select any good GPU, set video memory to maximum. All right now, same leave the other settings as usual. Everything is default in these sections. Now here in advanced set startup selection to aggressive, this will stop services. Set processor affinity for both mainstream and 32-bit applications. I recommend you set high power cores for better performance. Create container. Now boot the system. All right, here I will set to full screen. Now go to start menu. Here there are a lot of features options, as I mentioned in my earlier detailed video on when later frost features. If you missed that, check out the carts or in description. All right, now go to system tools, wine configuration, set version to Windows 11. So apply and save. Let's also check out direct 3D test. All right, guys, it's time to set up Zemu Xbox emulator in this emulator. Simply go to the path where you downloaded all required files. Extract Eczema release folder using 7-zip. Here the folder gets extracted. Let me delete this. Okay, now send hard disk file to the extracted Xemu folder, which is our main folder. Now extract the file by selecting extract here. Let me delete this. All right, now get back. Here we need to copy this BIOS file to the same Xemu folder. Now extract the file, here the folder gets created. As you can see here, we have Xbox bin file. Now get back. Here you need to replace the required files onto the BIOS folder as I shown. You need to copy complex file, which is very important. So copy this to BIOS folder. And one more file, which is MCPX file, same you need to replace on that folder. Simply, I will copy it and paste. Also, I will copy this MD5 file, which is basically not much necessary. All right, guys, it's time to start Zemu emulator on Android emulating on a Windows. Sounds weird, right? Okay, it's loaded, now go to settings. Here in system, you need to dump some files, which we copied all right now. Add MCPX boot image, right here. Now dump the BIOS image, it's very important. Choose the complex bin file and open. 
Now select hard disk HDD Xbox file and open. And we are almost done. Now we need to restart this emulator. So exit application and reopen. All right guys, as you can see, it starts to boot with animation. And let's set up some settings. Go to display, set scale resolution to 1x. Set video resolution to lowest possible or 720p. UI scale to auto, display mode, and set aspect ratio. Now go to input settings, set controller to keyboard. In general settings, make sure to enable hard FPU emulation and also cache loaders. Leave the remaining settings as default. Now restart the emulator. We are ready. It's time to import. Select load disk. Add any of your game which is in ISO or Xbox ISO format. Now reset it starts to reboot to load disk. And yep, it started. Please don't expect more from this because we are already emulating on an emulator. Just like ah we did for RPCS3 in recent video. Anyways, that's it all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked. Also subscribed. Thank you, guys. Peace out.